Welcome back to Lavender Town VGC. I'm your host with the Ghost Ride. Let's get right into today's episode. In our last episode, we won one, we lost one, and we got a little stalled out. So let's see if we can do our best against VGC Cody. Uh, let's see what kind of team this guy is rocking. Ooh, that's a very cool team. He's got a Melotta, Kim on top, Zard Y, Naganadal, uh, Kangaskhan, and Aegislash. That actually might not just be a regular Charizard. And a Mega Kangaskhan. He might have two Megas. That could also be a thing. Um, either way, I think that Porygon Z has a very nice matchup here. So I'm going to lead with Porygon Z. And I kind of want to bring my own Hitmontop, but that Melodic obviously is kind of making me not really want to. So I think I will go... I promise if he leaves Naganadal, he's going to be able to really body our uh, Clefairy. And against my team, Naganadal actually looks pretty decent, so he's probably going to bring him. Um, I will go hit him on top in that case. I just really I hate giving a free boost to a melodic. But how do I think he's gonna lead? Is the real question. He might try to set up a tailwind, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a fairy. Uh, we're gonna bring Mega Gengar in the back. Actually, do we want to bring Mega Gengar in the back? We definitely want to bring Politoed. Yeah, Gengar, I think, is going to be the best option. Just because it gives us more, like, offensive capabilities in a late-game situation. We can disable stuff. We can try to maybe get Parasong going on a couple of these things. So, let's see. Um, this guy's a cool team. I I think we're gonna, probably going to see a Tailwind from the Nagana doll. I think. Maybe. <coughs> he has two uh, fake-out users, so... I don't know which one he's going to try to go with here. Uh, Naganadal hit him on top. Alright, cool. So, he's probably going to go for uh, Tailwind of his own. I, I think we're going to see Tailwind fake out, if I had to guess. Okay. So. That's tricky. Very, very tricky. Yeah, I want to protect PZ. Actually, you know what? I might as well go for the Z conversion here. Because um, I don't think he's going to like too, too, too crazy here. And I'm going to Moonblast to hit him on top. I'm going to play a little, I'm gonna play a little aggressive. Uh, he does go with the fake out of the PZ. That's fine. Oh, never mind. I was not expecting this. Poisonium Z Naganadal. That is a very good play. Give this man a clap. Give this man a clap. We're gonna see the acid downpour. He must be feeling so happy right now. Killing a Clefairy, that's gonna feel nice. It's gonna feel real good. Down glows Clefairy. Yeah, we ain't living that. Uh, that is good to know though, that means that that doesn't that is not the um gets his beast boost. Ugh. Uh, that does let us know that uh, he doesn't have a focus sash, so we can maybe use that to our advantage. I'm gonna bring in Politoed. And let's see how we're going to play this one. It's good we have Drizzle up, because that means we can hit Thunders really accurately. Um, I'm going to go for a Protect here. And an Icy Wind. The Gondel's very fast. Um, I think its base speed is like, I want to say it's like 120 something. It's like below the base speed 130s, but I don't know the exact number on it. So let's slow him down a little bit, and then honestly, PZ can kill with an Ice Beam without even converting. Uh, he might keep the Hitmon top in and go for a close combat, too. So let's see. Some people don't even run close combat on Hitmon top. I think that's insane, because it's such a good move and he hits really, really hard if you give him enough attack investment, but uh, we'll see. He might choose not to go that route. I like having Icy Wind on Polyto for situations like this. Uh, he goes for, just goes for a Draco. But we should be able to eat that, no problem, I think. And he's going to lower our special attack and all that nonsense, too, so... Pretty good there. Hit the Icy Wind. Okay. Important thing here is that we have slowed down the Gotta Dull. 
and B. Oh, that actually worked out pretty good. Because of the Icy Wind hitting the uh, hitting the hit on top, it's going to activate his eject button and bring someone else in. In comes Kangaskhan. Which is pretty interesting, actually. Um, I mean, we can kind of assume he's probably going to fake out the Porygon Z. And then maybe... Uh, Go for another Draco into the Polytoe, or even switch the Doll out. Um, I'm gonna protect Porygon Z, and I'm gonna Scald into the Doll. I think he switches it out, or maybe since of a Tailwind. I don't know. Let's see what he wants to do here. Oh, don't get the double, which would have been nice. Um, but that's enough to trigger our bearing on the Polytoe, which is pretty good. Let's see what he does with the Gondol. Yeah, he's just for a Tailwind. Alright. Okay. I'm going to protect again <laughs> with Porygon Z. And go for another Icy Wind from Polytoe. Polytoe is really good in these kind of situations. He's such a good like utility mon, just because he can like really help you out of. I like having icy wind. It's like good just having that kind of speed control. Switches into Ganondorf out and brings in Milotic. Oh god, that was a really good play on his end. Very very good play on his end. Just for a double edge onto Polytoe. Oh, I actually I got lucky. I know it doesn't seem like I got lucky, but I got lucky there. Alright. Let's bring Mega Gengar in here. <coughs> okay. So, I think I can probably take Melodic out with the Thunder here. But just in case, I will Mega Evolve and go for the Sludge Bomb also. This is going to be tough. Obviously, I've kind of backed myself into a corner here. But he made some really good plays in the early game. And it kind of, like, got me here. So, he goes for a Drain Punch onto the PZ. Does pretty good damage. Um, ugh, damn it. Man, we got blown back on this one, guys. That is rough. Yeah, that did not go well. Huh. What it really came down to was I was not expecting the Z move on the Ganondorf, and that definitely screwed me up in the long run. Um, that's just tricky. He had the fake out pressure so much too. Like, dual fake out on a team—that's pretty annoying. Like, that's really—it's good. It's just—it's annoying to play against. Good job, VGC Cody. You played very well in that one, youngin. All right. Let's find ourselves another battle. Shake it off, bounce back. I'm still a little rusty. It's been a hot minute since I've played Pokemon. Uh, we don't need to save a battle of that. We already have all the footage right here. All right, let's continue the battle. Let's see if we can't find another game or two. Mm -mm. The ladder is tough, man. Like... It's so hard to predict what people are going to be using. Like, what the hell does this team do? Uh, we have a Naganadol, uh, Landorus, Tapu Koko, Zerkatry, Mega Venusaur, or Mega Blastoise. One of the two, maybe both, I don't really know. Hmm. I mean... Porygon Z still looks great here, really? I think we go Porygon Z and hit him on top. Yeah, definitely hit my top on this one. Um, it's tough. Because, like, obviously I really want to bring Gengar um, for the Tapu Koko. And also the Zerkatry, really. Uh, but... I just gotta play it careful. That's really what it comes down to. What else do we want to bring? Mm, I like Politoed in this one. For Icy Wind and Skull Burns. And it gives me another way to set up. Um, what's it called? Gives me another way to set up Parasong if that comes down to it. Uh, let's see if we can play a little bit better. 
here's the thing about Pokemon. Never go by someone's ranking. Like if you say, oh, this like for example, this guy's in the 1300s. He might be testing out new stuff, and maybe he's really, really good. And I can't go into this thinking oh, he's in the 1300s. I'm definitely gonna beat him. It's a shitty way to look at people on battles, but everyone's supposed to be having fun on this thing, trying out new teams, trying to get better. So let's see what this guy wants to lead off with. He's gonna go for the Landorus Tapu Koko. Okay. How do I want to do this one? Alright. Now, fortunately, we're getting our Intimidate off on that Landorus, which is going to be really coming handy, I think. Um, I have a feeling Coco is probably going to just want to Volt Switch out. Hmm. What do we want to do here? I mean, I think I could just go for this, the uh, Z-Conversion, right? And we will fake out the Tapu Koko. I just, I hate playing against Landorus because, like, you just, you don't know what they're going to be running. Uh, okay. So, we are faster than the Landorus, which kind of leads me to believe that he's probably the Assault Vest set, maybe? Let's see. Landorus sets up Stealth Rock. That is interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for a Thunder. Oh, actually. I mean, we can't... I really want to, but I'm not going to. Uh, we're going to... What do we want to do? Actually, you know what? I can probably do this pretty safely. I'm going to Thunder the Coco and Wide Guard. In case he wants to go for an Earthquake here. Like an Earthquake Protect. Something like that. We hit the Thunder. I've been pretty lucky hitting these thunders, honestly. I always feel so sketched out hitting that button. <laughs> Just because, like, you don't know if it's going to work or not. Nice. So with Wide Guard, we've blocked our uh, the Earthquake coming in. Let's see what he's got in the back here. Brings in the Venusaur. Shiny Venusaur, too. I think it's really cool looking. Okay, so um, we're going to go for the Ice Beam onto the Landorus. And we'll just Wide Guard again, I think. Right? I mean, it's like a pretty solid play, I think, in general. In case that, I mean, it, that was a pretty slow Landorus, so in case he's a Soul Fest and he somehow survives, I can protect myself again. Protect myself from an Earthquake coming in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, a big thing for me, honestly, is I have to get used to this new timer. It's, it's, it's like so, it's, it's, you, it, I can't get my brain around it. I don't know why they changed the timer, made it so short. It is so hard to lock your moves in quickly and also think critically about what you're doing. Ugh. It's not a fun way to lose a game, tell you that much, going down a timer. Another wide guard off. And, I mean, this should take out this Landorus, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. No, 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 I never know down here. And, uh, you can never really tell on the low ladder who's going to be doing what. What's Some people are running like really, really, really bulky Landoruses now. Alright, let's see who he's got for his last bond. I mean, I'm pretty much, like, I'm very safe to start setting up um, uh, the Parish Song here. So, I mean, I'm going to go for another Ice Beam into Naganadal. And I'm going to switch out into Politoed. Let's see what my opponent wants to do here. He might want to maybe like protect the Venusaur and set up a Tailwind. Um, kind of got him on the ropes though. Uh, we had a pretty nice lead here. I think it really played, uh, played out how they wanted it to. That's Stealth Rock damage. I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Stealth Rock and VGC, not that good. Uh, that's a singles move. Yeah, I don't see the really the... I don't see a huge benefit in using it in VGC. Oh, he's got the uh, Focus Sash. That's what I was worried about last time, last episode. He goes for a Sludge Bomb. Um, but with the bulk from the conversion, we do take that hit pretty well, even though we do get poisoned. And he's going to set up a Leech Seed under the Polytoad. That is fine by me. 
Um, I'm in a spot now where I can set up Parish Song and just switch around and win, pretty much. So, let's see what he wants to do here. Yeah, see, I I think Focus Ash is really good on Nagano Doll. I, I I prefer running that if I'm gonna run one over anything else. I think. I will Ice Beam again, and we'll set up Parish Song as our win condition. Because PC's on a timer now because of the poison. And so I'm, if he goes down, if he goes down, it's all right. Uh, he's just for Giga Drain. Uh, we can take that though. And we're like right outside of Berry Rage. But everyone now is on a three turn timer. So let's do a little bit of switching around and close this game out. Okay. I mean, God bless this Venusaur. He is definitely taking a lot of health off these leaf seeds. But that is enough to pop Politoed into berry range. Okay. So we do go down to the poison here, but again, that's not a huge deal. Um, that gives us a free switch in, honestly, which we could probably use right now. Uh, we see Electric Train go away. And let's bring in Mega Gengar now and clean, clean this all up. Okay. So we will Mega Evolve and Protect. And I'm just going to go for an Icy Wind here. Get rid of that Nagana doll. And then we just got to ride out the Parish Song until this Venusaur goes down. I really do like Nagana doll's design a lot. Especially the Shiny. The Shiny is just really cool because it looks like a badass Beedrill. <laughs> I mean, B Mega Beedrill is badass enough as it is, but uh, Nagana Doll definitely, I like the, the color scheme a lot for the shiny. Alright, so we get a Protect off. Goes for a Flamethrower. Interesting. <laughs> he Giga Drained his own Nagana Doll. <laughs> Which is funny, I guess if you're gonna like die to a Parish Trap, you kinda can cheese on the way out. I respect that play. I respect it. Um, Alright, drop a speed there, and he's just going to keep absorbing health with his leaf seeds, but uh, we've got this one locked up, folks. That was a nice little game, too. Uh, Alright. So, my play here is to disable the Venusaur, and I'll switch back into him on top. Reset Politoed, and uh, reset our... Um, Parish counter on Politoed. Yeah, I definitely feel rusty playing Pokemon, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, I've been playing Monster Hunter nonstop for about a week and a half. Uh, it's just been really fun playing with a bunch of friends and just kind of switching out to a different game. Um, I know, I, for me personally, I'm, I'm not going to speak for the Pokemon community, but I think we're all a little burnt out on Pokemon uh, from going from Sun and Moon to Ultra Sun and Moon. Just because it, there, it's a lot, it's a very similar game. Uh, nothing, the changes weren't too crazy, and I mean, for me, it's uh, it's nice to just kind of take a break every once in a while, pop in a different game, get really into that for a little while. Um, there will be some Monster Hunter content coming to the channel, uh, I haven't decided how I want to do it yet, or like what I really want to do for that, so we're going to have, keep an eye out, there will be some Monster Hunter stuff coming too. I know this is a Pokemon channel, but I mean, come on, Monster Hunter is basically Pokemon, for being real. Giant monsters, you catch them. It's the same thing. Uh, so the Venusaur does die to the Parish Song, and we have defeated Elio for our game two. Uh, we should have enough time for another game, so I'm going to try to get a game three in for this episode. Let's see, let's see. Uh, that was a fun game, though. I like that guy's team a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, no... The game one didn't go so hot, but like, it's fine. It's gonna take me a little bit to kinda like, get back on track using this team. Again, it has been a hot minute. I haven't actually like turned my, if I'm being honest, I haven't turned my 2DS on in about two weeks. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, ooh, this is a very hard Trick Room team. Wow. Uh, Snorlax, Mimikyu, Camerupt, uh, Beware, Tapu Koko, and uh, Gorilla Grodd. 
the Trick Room Monkey, whatever the fuck, Ranguru. <laughs> uh, I don't want to play this one. This is tricky. This is going to be tricky. I think I kind of want to go with a Mega Gengar lead. Maybe like Mega Gengar. And who else? Hmm. Because like I know he's, he's going to want to set up Trick Room with the Oranguru, and then like after you eruptions with the uh, camera up. So maybe because of that, I can kind of like see that coming a little bit. I'm going to go Porygon Z and hit him on top. And I'm going to bring Politoed 100% to help me with the camera up. And I, I kind of have to bring Mega Gengar just because Sludge Bomb hits um, so many of these Montauk. No, 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 no. I screwed up the order here. Shit. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good. Whew, that was close. All right. I think you'd be more aware of the time that I have in this game. It's very rushed. Alright, let's see how we can do. Uh, again, hard Trick Room is really tough for this team. Usually against Trick Room, I run Clefairy and I just after you everything, but he has some very slow Mons on his side, so we are going to see a Mimikyu Camera Up lead. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I mean, I think we're definitely going to see a Trick Room for the Mimikyu. Okay. This is tricky. I'm gonna go for the Z conversion. And I will fake out the camera ups. Now the only like good thing about this is I can uh, wide guard against like eruptions and heat waves and stuff, but he's gonna have earth power, which is gonna be the real problem here. Alright, so he just goes for a protect, which is fine. Um it's just gonna be so tricky, cause like an Earth Power from Camera Upt, like if that thing's max, max max special attack modest, I'm not gonna be able to take it even after the conversion. Okay. And yeah, I see the trick can go up. Yeah, that's the problem with my team is like I don't have like any real great way to deal with the trick room. Uh, I'm gonna protect here. And I guess I'll go for the close combat on the camera up. Kind of just scout out how this one's going to play out a little bit. So just mimic you out. And brings in Coco, which is interesting. Huh. Okay. I mean, it's just going to be so tricky dealing with that camera up. Oh, it's a 2 KO, though, which is pretty nice, honestly. I mean, I kind of have to go for the double here, even though I really don't want to. That's, like, the safest play, really. But... I mean, honestly, though, like... I could play it, like, a lot more risky, but... I'm going to go for the double... I think it's kind of my best shot. I hate doing. I hate going for double protects. Oh my god, I get it. Oh, I did not think that was gonna work. It should not have worked, honestly. Um, that's amazing. Yikes! I was so nervous. That was scary. I didn't like that at all. Um, yeah, we get the double. Uh, that was pretty clutch. Okay, let's see what he wants to do here. He's gonna bring in Snorlax. Um, so I'm gonna go for a Thunder into the Coco and switch in Politoed. I can't believe I got the double protect. I never get double protects. You've seen this channel, you know I don't get double protects. It never happens. 
Uh, he might have thought I was going to go for a close combat on the Mimikyu, but... Um, do a little switcheroo here. Now, I should be able to take a T-Bolt from a Coco, because I'm Electro-type now. Even with the Electro Terrain boost. Because I... Oh, he goes for a Dazzling Gleam. Interesting. Um... I mean, I have yet to see a Tapu Koko that can take a Thunder from uh, PZ. It's just, it's, it hits so hard. It's crazy. All right. And we're looking pretty good right now, honestly. Because what I can do here is protect and set up Parish Song. Because, I mean, Snorlax Mimikyu is going to be really hard to beat. Don't get me wrong. That's like Belly Drum Snorlax plus Mimikyu is nuts. Especially if it's a conversion uh, Mimikyu. But if I can, like, just ride it out and just kind of play out how this whole thing goes, I might be able to uh, clutch this one out. Alright. Protect off. Looking good, looking good. Uh, he does go for the Belly Drum. So he now has his attack maxed out. Which is a little scary. Because we are still operating under Trick Room. I gotta remember. <laughs> but Parish Song is up. So. We just gotta play defensive now. That's like the real big one here. And he goes for the Psycho. Yep, that is super scary. <laughs> See, here's the thing though. If I was him, I would have copied Porygon Z stat changes. Uh, See, we got lucky here though. Because. Now. Um, because Trick Room's done. We can, like, really go full-on offensive here. I don't think that's no like has protect. Maybe we for a Shadow Sneak. Um, we eat that, though. We living. We are living. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Oh, it's like every time I want to go back to Thunderbolt, you see that thunder damage, and it's like, nope. I'll be sticking with this. Like it's it's so good. It's hard to give up that extra. It's an extra like twenty base power, but it really does like. It adds up, definitely. Um, okay, so um, we got no trick room up, so we can pretty comfortably go for the thunder here to win out this game. And let's go for a scald. Match forfeited. All right, awesome. Uh, feeling pretty good about this team still. Um, that was, what are we, last one, one, two, so it's pretty good. Um, so in our next episode, we'll, we'll do the last episode using this team. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions for some ghost Pokemon that you really like and you want to see a team built around, I would love to hear those suggestions down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. But yeah, there will be another episode of Lavender Town VGC coming out Friday. So we're doing VGC all week long this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, have a great day. Catch you guys later.